Over the years, I've been proud to be events put on by OnLock, a nonprofit dedicated to helping the elderly and chronically ill with a broad array of services. OnLock takes on some of the toughest problems the community faces. With me right now is a well-known community leader, Grace Lee. She is the chief operating officer for OnLock, who provides strategic and operational direction for OnLock's PACE centers across three counties. Welcome, Grace. Thank you, Robert. Good to see you again. Oh, uh, now I know we have a little overview video okay. that we're going to see. Yes. So let's take a look at this, and then we can talk a little bit more about the upcoming anniversary celebrations. Fantastic, going on. great. Forty million seniors in America and growing. Our elderly population is on course to double to 80 million by 2050. Currently, there are six million Americans over 80, and that number will more than triple in the next 40 years. Many of these seniors are alone. Most aren't getting the help and attention they need. Their families struggle to be caregivers while trying to keep a job and raise children. That kind of lays out a lot of what, what Unlock needs to do, huh? That's right, that's right. You're approaching your 45th year kind of celebration. That's right. So as we look back, is the situation and demand changed quite a bit now? In the, has the senior landscape changed quite a bit now for Unlock? You know, I think that it has, but it hasn't. Uh, in the way that it has is that uh, I think that there are people that are having uh, the the demographics and the profile of the people we see are a little bit different. Uh, we really have developed our expertise in you know, helping people stay in the community, often with dementia. Um, and, and in that relationship with the families, it's a caregiver support system partnership that we have. And I think that we're starting to see really kind of what the communities reflect and the type of people who are really seeking other, ki you know, other services as well, um, you know, maybe more mental health disease uh, and, and then aging as well. And so when those two factors together, they're still needing help in the same way that people always have. Having uh, interacted with Unlock over the years, one thing that has been a big improvement is that at one time, uh, a lot of seniors were reluctant to step forward and say they needed help and they needed these services. At least you don't have that stigma kind of thing as much anymore now, huh? I think you're right about that. I, certainly, I think that what we find are people, uh, and, and m more so probably caregivers, the family members, really needing the support because it's not easy when you age and you have disabilities. Um, and so that's where I think that our, our uh, the Unlock Lifeways model really helps to support people. It's a coordinated uh, team approach. Um, there are medical professionals and there are um, support service professionals that come together and develop a unique care plan for each person in our program. How about in terms of like the pace centers and things like that that we kind of take for granted talking about them because they're so common in the community, but in terms of for people who haven't heard about that, what are those kind of designed to do? So I'll tell you, one of the things that's really, uh, I think that people find and get the most out of it, it's almost like one-stop shopping. For our seniors, we have vans that go pick people up every day and they bring them into the centers where they can see their doctor, they can have a hot meal, they'll see their friends for socialization, they may have a visit with the nurse or their therapist and so there's so many different activities and reasons that a person can be uh, be coming to the center that really it helps to support why they then can return home at night to be with their families or to be able to have home care support services to continue remain and remain living it at home you kind of touched on it but what are some of the new services that you're sort of expanding into now well you know the way that the the model works is we receive a flat rate um, that and are responsible for helping to make sure all of the services are um, and the needs are met. And two of the areas that we've even expanded on in the last few years has been to help uh, bolster up our mental health program and also a chaplaincy program. But I think that overall, it's trying to help get people to and from their doctor's appointments to the centers for activities for socializations uh, to um, you know making sure that their home care services and, and needs are being met medication management etc uh, but really it's that whole support service that really helps to make it easier for families and seniors to remain living at home has social media made it a lot more accessible as well it has a little bit um, certainly we're learning to be in that space a little bit more um, but I think that in order to help people stay connected with their families 
family members. Often, you know, as, as families, uh, you know, sort of grow and evolve, we find that, you know, maybe sometimes the children, the adult children aren't living with their parents anymore. They're across the country. They have their own lives. So it does help us uh, enable people to stay connected. Well, one thing for sure, the community evolves and the organizations have to evolve with it, huh? It does. It does. Thank you very much for being here. And congratulations on the upcoming anniversary. And thank you. We'll have you back for the celebration, okay? Very good. Thank you so <laughs> much, right. Robert.